Uh, I would say this, from from what I can tell, this is probably the, the most anticipated uh, start of the season that we've had since I've been here. Uh, but I'm not sure that's that's 100% reliable because I don't really talk to a great portion of the fan base. But based on what people have told me, uh, uh, that there seems to be uh, uh, no shortage of anticipation and, and, and the way the ticket sales have gone this summer without even putting them on sale and already sold the building out every seat and things like that. I, I think that I think there's as much hype around this year as any. And, and, and uh, I think it's large part because of the unknown because we've had other good players and, and other good teams returning. This team hasn't proven itself at all, but still the, the unknown of having a good recruiting class uh, I think has everybody pretty excited. Well, I think I think this team is uh, uh, is different than than most of the teams that we've had here. Maybe all the teams we've had here is because we're as deep as we've ever been. We probably have as many good players in the gym as we've ever had, uh, and and we certainly are 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 long and and uh, and you know can play with you know five or six bigs. Where in years past we may have been a little limited in doing so. Uh, it's been fun. I enjoy it. It's a nice place. Uh, it's a small town where the people, they show a lot of love and appreciation. So, uh, I got the goals for this team just uh, play hard, you know, do a lot of damage, win the Big 12 tournament, just win it all. I became close to all of them. Like I said before, when I came my visit, everyone was like rolled like a union. Like, even now, everyone's close. Like, there's no favorites on the team. Like, everybody talks to everybody, you know? So. Talking to Wayne earlier, he said he's become pretty close with you, and a lot of people are talking about how talented he is. What can you yeah. tell us about him as a player and as a friend? Uh, he's funny, really funny guy. And as a, as a player, uh, whew, he's good. He can pass, he can score. Uh, he plays very unselfish. Uh, he, he makes a lot of people, he makes his whole team better. So. What is it and like I know you were asked about the legends of Kansas. Um, like Will Chamberlain, like Danny Manning, those guys. Do you think that you could be compared to them after after uh, a little while, or do you hope to be one of these days? Hopefully when it's all said and done, uh, I'll be. Uh, I think scoring and defensively, I'm really good. And I just need to work on probably, well, I'm good on ball defending, probably just maybe off ball defending, just uh, working on my shooting, ball handling, just because nothing is perfect. So just all repetition and stuff. Uh, just, you know, just how he condones himself. He's just, you know, real laid back. You wouldn't even know that he's the number one player in the country the way he acts, you know. Doesn't try to show out, doesn't try to be better than anybody. You know, he just bees, be himself. And I just try to tell him the same thing, you know, continue being how you are. You know, everything's going to work out well. But on the court-wise, you know, he's just a tremendous athlete. You know, his second jump is ridiculous how fast he gets up off the floor and you know a lot of people say that you know he really can't shoot the ball that well but with what I've been seeing he's been shooting the ball really well so it's small that it, it, all of a sudden your team you, you and Perry are the, the guys that, that are back and and you embrace that that role this year definitely uh so I came into the school you know I knew there was going to be a time where it was going to be you know my chance to finally be able to be a leader like I always done and I feel like this year is the year for me to be a leader. You know, there's a lot of young guys. You know, with Perry and I being able to, been, Perry been here last year. I was here for this is my third year here. You know, you know what's needed. You know what's, you know what coach wants out of the players, and we're gonna be able to help the guys out, and that's what we're just gonna have to do. Um, we don't really look at ourselves as really a recruiting class anymore because we're all here now. So it's us six plus the other 12. So that's 18, 18 uh, players in the locker room. So we're not really looking at it as the recruiting class, but looking at it as more as a new team. Um, it's fun, you know. Uh, all the guys, um, all the guys, we usually walk around in packs, so it's never really overwhelming. When and it, we influence it, you know, we don't really shy away from it. But there's, there's those days where you might wear your headphones and walk straight to your class with your head down. But uh, we we like it. We enjoy the fans here. And how has this been meshing with this this group of young guys and with so much talent? Uh, it's definitely been one of the smoothest transitions I've had uh, since the start. Uh, the older guys welcomed us in. All the young guys welcomed, they welcomed the young guys in, and it was really great. I don't know. We're, I just know we're going to come out. We're going to work hard. We're going to compete, and we'll see where the ceiling lets us go.